Hey, what's going on guys? This is ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at Windows FX running on the Raspberry Pi 4. Now this is a Linux distribution. It's actually based on Ubuntu with the Cinnamon desktop and it's made to look like Windows 10 and it actually does an amazing job. Default password is admin. And here it is. I mean, they have done an amazing job recreating Windows 10 and a Linux distribution for the Raspberry Pi 4. And by the way, this works on the Raspberry Pi 2, 3, and 4. Link for the website will be in the description. You can download this right now. We'll go down here to the little Windows icon. And to tell you the truth, if you weren't a super tech savvy person and you came up on this, started it up, you would think you're running Windows 10 here. I mean, it looks super close. Go ahead and open up a file browser here. I mean, we have network, trash, file system, desktop, home. They have done a really great job here, and I don't have anything installed on this machine. I am running this on a Raspberry Pi 4, 8 gigabyte model, but unfortunately, they're only offering a 32-bit version right now. Hopefully, they do an upgrade to 64 because it is available for Ubuntu. Like I mentioned, it's running the Cinnamon Desktop. It's fairly lightweight, and one of my favorite things about the Cinnamon Desktop are applets or desklets. There's a couple different to choose from. If I right-click on the desktop, I'll add a desklet. And from here, we can go to Download find different ones. I've already downloaded a few. Manage. We'll go with CPU load. So add this. Kind of old school like Windows Vista when we used to have those tools we could put right on the desktop. Disk space. We have notes. Simple system monitor. And I thought I had weather in here. I guess I can re-download it. We'll go with weather. Manage, weather, and I can add it right to the desktop. Now this will definitely take up a little bit of CPU power, a little bit of RAM, but overall I think it's a cool little feature for the Cinnamon desktop. Next up we have applets. On your taskbar at the very bottom, right click, applet. It'll open up the applets menu. And from here, you can basically do the same thing, but it's going to add it to the taskbar at the very bottom. So I'll just add weather again, even though I have it up here. It should show me my weather. I can click on it. It'll give me some information about the weather in my area. I'm going to go ahead and remove this device. I'll remove this one here. Actually, I'll leave this one up and we'll close this. But yeah, there's a bunch you can download. Some of them aren't going to work with ARM, but a majority of them that I've tested so far do work pretty well on this system. So even though this resembles Windows 10, it has nothing to do with Windows whatsoever. We're still running Linux. This is Ubuntu. We can access Terminal, Control-Alt-T. It'll open up Terminal, and we can install pretty much anything we want from Terminal, or we can use the Software Installer under Administration, Software. It'll open up the software catalog here. And there's lots of stuff that we can install. We can check out our installed and we can update from here. And this needs an update right now, but I'll go ahead and close this down. In terms of performance, it's definitely on par with Raspberry Pi OS. And if you've used Ubuntu on the Raspberry Pi 4, you know that we still need drivers for the GPU. And that's pretty much all operating systems for the Raspberry Pi right now. But I do have faith that eventually we'll get all these YouTube playback woes fixed on the Raspberry Pi 4 with most of the operating systems. And speaking of YouTube, we'll just head over here. We'll start this up. Full screen it. And we are at 1080p, but we're going to drop it down to 480 to see how it acts. And yes, this does have audio. Unfortunately, I forgot to turn my sound on my game capture device when I was making this video. And one thing that I've noticed here, at least with Firefox, is I cannot see my drop frames. So this is 480p. I mean, it's looking pretty decent. We'll go to 720 It's not as good, but I mean, it's working. And in window mode, it's really hard to tell if it's dropping any frames at all. It does work pretty good. 
And finally, we'll go to 1080p, which even with this on and we're not showing drop frames, you can definitely tell. Just see how kind of slow it is. Looks a little skippy. But yeah, I mean, that's just the state of YouTube on the Raspberry Pi right now. So I've been messing around with Windows FX on the Raspberry Pi 4, and overall it's very stable. I haven't had any crashing or anything like that. I definitely recommend giving it a little more of an overclock. I'm at 2 GHz on the CPU and 700 MHz on the GPU. In order to get this installed, all you need to do is head over to the WindowsFX.org website. Link is in the description. Windows 10, ARM, Raspberry Pi 2, 3, and 4. Scroll down to the bottom here. You'll download it from this link. You'll just flash this image with Etcher or the Raspberry Pi imager. Username is admin, password is admin, and when you first boot this up, it's gonna go through a little bit of a setup process. You can change the default password, you can set the language, your keyboard, and region. It's pretty much just like installing any other operating system on the Pi. But I do recommend trying this if you want that Windows 10 look for your Raspberry Pi, or if somebody new is coming to Linux, this is an awesome way to start. They'll be very used to the layout here, but we have all of the great features of Linux built in. But that's pretty much it for this video. I just kind of wanted to give you a quick look here, just to let you know that it's there for you to download and install on your Raspberry Pi if you're really interested in it. We have LibreOffice built in. There's lots of great apps here. It also has Kodi, VLC, and like you saw, we do have that software center. So if there is something you want to download from there, you can do it from the software center or you can install it from terminal. Links for everything I mentioned in this video are in the description. If you have any questions or you want an install tutorial, I could probably make one up in a few days. Just let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.